Hey guys, and welcome back to another Magical Voxel tutorial. In this one, as mentioned in the previous video, I'll be going over hotkeys and which hotkeys I use. Now, it should be noted that uh, I do not use all the hotkeys that are available in Magical Voxel. So, if you wanted to check out the available hotkeys to choose from, just go ahead and go onto Magical Voxel website. And under the shortcuts tab, you'll be able to see a list of all the icons or all the hotkeys that are available in Magical Voxel. Okay, with that out of the way, let's go back into Magical Voxel and get started. So, covering over the basics, uh, we'll just cover undo and redo keys. So, for instance, I can go to face mode and do something like this. If I wanted to bring back the cube, all I would have to do is hit Control Z on the keyboard and it undoes um, my previous action. The undo feature has, you can basically um, undo up to like 20 or 30 times. Um, so for instance, if I just make some whatever striations in this cube and I want to bring all of it back, um, so you just hit Control Z, and while holding Control, you can just tap Z, and it will continue to undo. Or, if I believe, you can hit Control Z and hold it, and you can bring it all the way back. Um, if I didn't want to do that, you would hold Control Y on the keyboard, which is redo. And like the same with undo, I think you can redo it, redo an action thirty times or so. And like with undo, if you hold Control Y, you can it'll just you won't have to press it one by one. You can just go straight to what you had previously. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing that. So for instance, if I wanted to bring back the cube, instead of doing Control Z and holding it down, you could um, hit Control A, select all, and hit Delete. And just literally bring it back with face mode and click on the bottom, and just drag the mouse up, fix the cube like that. Okay, looking at voxel edit mode, which is right here, you can see my brush size is very big for voxels. You can do one of two ways. You can go over here to these arrows and drag up or down to your desired voxel size, and it will change the corresponding brush to that size, so right now it's at the voxel 1. Um, you can either change the slider here, or with the plus and minus keys on the keyboard, change the brush size. So if I want to make the brush size bigger, I just press plus. And like the undo and redo keys, you can just hold it, get your desired brush size, and I can reduce the size by pressing minus. And it's a lot more convenient using this method than going over here and changing the slider because it is quite small, this area you have to work with. It is quite small. So really handy just tapping plus a little bit to make it larger or minus to make it smaller. I figured since we were covering hotkeys, I should cover um, some basic camera functions. Uh, specifically saving a camera position because it does involve pressing um, keys on so let's say you find a um, a camera position that you are happy with and you want to render it you press 7 on the keyboard you press it once um, now let's say you need to fix something that is over here for whatever reason oh okay now I fixed it. I wanted to get back to that position. Instead of trying to find a perfect spot, you could just press 8 on the keyboard and it will bring it back to that said cam position. And let's say I want to rechange that, all you have to do is just find a new position, press 7, and it will delete the old cam position saved. It will delete the old cam position and replace it with the one you just saved. And like before, if I 
wanted to fix something, um, you would just go do whatever you wanted to get fixed. So for instance, I don't know why that's there, so I can get rid of that. Now I press 8 on the keyboard, brings me that to that position. And of course, every time you make a move or an erase or add something, uh, icon right here would ask you to save. Instead of going up here and pressing save, you can just hit Control S to save uh, a magic box so you can create gradients using on the palette. So for instance, set a color, it be your light, or it be your dark, or it doesn't have to be your dark, just uh, it could be any color I guess. You just select either one of these colors, press and hold Control Alt on the keyboard and drag it to the other color and it will create a gradient based on the number of based on the number of spaces of uh, empty colors there's between the, um, the light and the dark color and it doesn't have to be in one line so for instance if I create one down here I can put a, the other color here and Press and hold Control Alt, mouse click, drag the other color, creates a gradient. You also have your obvious late key. You can, for instance, if I press delete now, it'll just delete everything, even though it didn't select anything. Let me see that again. Hit Control A, you can see it selects everything. If I hit delete, it deletes it. Pressing undo. You can see it's not selected, but if I hit delete, it will delete it, the whole thing. Um, obviously, would you don't want to delete the whole block, you would just select whatever portion you want to delete, and it will just delete that part. Let's say I want to grab a color to change the material. Um, okay, for instance, I'll select this color, paint that. Maybe on this side, select some red, make this red. So, um, if I wanted to, for instance, grab this green, and I'm not sure which of these greens this is, if you press and hold Alt, and then left mouse click on whatever color, it would grab that color, almost like an eyedropper tool. This is very efficient if you have a large scene and you needed to pick these colors. So if I wanted to find that color, I wouldn't have to look through all of these colors on the palette. I would just hold Alt, click on the color, see it grabs the color. Right now I'm still holding Alt and clicking randomly. You can see at the left, the selection of the palette is changing, corresponding to whatever color I clicked on. It's very useful and very saves you a lot of time. And that wraps up the hotkeys I use Magical Voxel to date. Hopefully this tutorial has helped and I'll see you all in the next one.